we're at the site where we did the first drilling of geothermal exploration in Dominica where we actually went down to 1,400 plus meters and today we're going to open up the well we've had it heat up for a few weeks and we're gonna see if there is flow so it's actually the final stage to know how much geothermal potential we actually have we have to let the well heat up for a few weeks after drilling after it's been drilled and we hope that it is reached a uh, temperature approximately that of the reservoir we then open a series of valves now with this particular well there was a little gas intrusion so it's gonna take about 15 to 20 minutes for the gas cap to release itself and then hopefully the well will allow itself to flow and that means either hot water or steam or some combination of the two will come up in the well and flow into the pit behind me I would like to say that I am very happy with the results of this well. The well actually flowed without any outside stimulation. The gas which was in the well took a shorter time than anticipated to come out of the well. We actually have the well cleaning out itself which because you can hear some small crackling in the background. That is actually the well bringing up some material which is in inside the casing is now heating up and over the course of the next four to eight hours we should have a lot more steam coming out when the well is actually clean so hey it's the first geothermal exploration well in Dominica and it has flowed and as you can see in the background things are looking pretty good so I am actually ecstatic
So we're at the second site of the drilling activities which have taken place in the Roseau Valley. The second well was drilled in the community of Loda and the results are much better than that of the first well. On this second well, we've actually gone slightly deeper than in the first well. This well, we've gone to a total depth of 1,602 meters. And this is just because the results were so positive. We just were trying to get as much information as possible since this is an exploratory project. As you can see, there is a much greater amount of steam and prospects are nothing but positive. And we hope from here we can move forward into producing more clean energy on the island of Dominica. We are on location at site WW1, um, located in the Trafalgar Water Moving Area. We are currently conducting the final of three tests on our exploratory well. 
Um, so far things have been going quite well. It's actually looking like the best of the three wells in terms of the output, the flow rate, steam and pressure. This well is actually the shallower of the three wells. It's just 1,200 meters deep. The output is greater than the other two. We have temperatures over 200 degrees Celsius and our current well air pressure right now is 18 bars. After we complete this flow test, we'll be looking at all the results of all the three wells. Um, we'll be compiling a, a resource assessment. Then we'll be able to see how much energy we'll be able to generate or electricity we'll be able to get out of this reservoir. From there, we'll look at probably putting up a small plant anywhere from 7 to 10 megawatts and to um, put on the local grid. In the long term, we look at the larger plant at 120 megawatts to export to Guadalupe and Madrid. Well, this is excellent because we tested up uh, well up in uh, Loda a couple of months ago, well uh, WW3, which was very productive. And now we have a well here uh, a couple of kilometers away that's also uh, productive. And uh, so that, that uh, uh, seems to tell us that we have a, a fairly large reservoir. It looks like you have a very productive geothermal resource and uh, looks like it could easily power the whole island. Hopefully in the near future we should have 100% of the energy in Dominica produced from renewable clean energy and that can only mean good things not only for our economy but also for our promotion as the nature island. We can now really promote ourselves as 100% green.